So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ITTF Seamaster 2017 World Tour Platinum Qatar Open. We are now into the awards ceremony. These are the runners up in women's doubles from Korea. It's Jun Ji Hee in the blue and Young Ha Moon on the right. Presented by Mr. Mohammed Abdullah Saleh, the QTTA Secretary General there. And the champions for women's doubles, Chun Meng and Wang Man Yu of China. Chun Meng on the right, Wang Man Yu on the left, carrying the gold sailboat very carefully as she shakes hands with Mr. Li Chun, ambassador of China in Qatar. A good handshake for both of the shake hands players. And a wave from our champions. For a three to one victory in doubles over the runners up from Korea, of course. And look at those cheeks. Look at the smile on Wang Man Yu, 18 years old. And we have the obligatory selfie here. Chun Meng not feeling so comfortable in selfie mode. Wang Man Yu from Generation Selfie. Probably uploaded to Snapchat immediately. That's a pretty cool shot. It's a shot of a pretty cool shot. Chun Ji Hee trying to escape before another professional photo. It almost looks like they're on four different stairs here. Outstanding performance by all players, but especially the two young Chinese players. You'll get to see later on for the Women's Singles Awards ceremony portion as well. But now we will move on to the Men's Doubles Awards ceremony. Athletes make their way in. It's the top seeds in front, the champions in front, followed by the Swedes with a very impressive performance, taking out Zhang Jiku and Ma Long along the way. On the left, it's Matthias Carlson and Christian Carlson on the right. No relation, but have played outstandingly well. A great sense of humor, both very humble and hardworking. I hate to generalize, but in Sweden, that seems to be the trend. The big handshake here from the presenter, Mr. Abdullah Al Mula, the director of Protocol Olympic Council of Asia. Center with the biggest smile of them all. Look at that. A little bit of Tom Selleck going on there, movie star face. And now the presenter for our winners. Well, let's get to the winners first. It is Masataka Morizono and Yuyo, Yuya Oshima from Japan. Yuya Oshima coming in first right there, leading. And a quick shortcut up to the stairs. Masataka Morizono on the left from a very well-celebrated table tennis family, but these two are incredible in doubles. And I wouldn't be surprised to see several highlights, or at least one shot, I would say, in the top 10 from their final match against Matthias and Christian Carlson. There is the beautiful gold sailboat trophy, and <laughs> look at the smiles all around. Masataka Morizono, quite efficient in his English, having played in Germany for some time. The presenter for the winners was Mr. Abdullah bin Mohammed Ba Makalef, president of Oman Table Tennis Committee. And now we move on to the Women's Singles Awards Ceremony, the second to last match of the day. Quite impressive play. Again, a battle for not only the title, but who will represent China at the World Championships in an event that is already sold out for the last three days in Dusseldorf, Germany. The excitement is building and building. It's gotta be just less than 100 days away now, the end of May. You've seen the hype online, and the conversations continue among table tennis fans around the world. Who's gonna take the title, despite on the men's side, a quick
quick start for Ma Long. It still seems up for grab anybody's title. But in the women's game, an outstanding performance from our runner-up. It's 18-year-old Wang Man Yu. So a whole lot of hardware for this player. Second place in singles. And the gold in doubles presented by Mr. Thomas Weikart, the ITTF president running again for re-election. And the winner, the champion, Chun Meng of China. 23-year-old Chun Meng coming back to play quite well, taking the first platinum event title on the world tour for the women. And again, Mr. Thomas Weikart, ITTF president, presenting this giant check with 25,000 US dollars on the front. I don't know exactly what that boat is made out of. In theory, it could be worth exactly the same thing. Seems unlikely, but as they stand on top of the podium, these proud representatives of China have played outstandingly well through this tournament. And only one loss between the two of them in singles, Wang Man Yu to Chun Meng. Again, these are both players you'll be seeing a lot of on the world tour, a bright future ahead for both of these outstanding players. And a shot was simply the women's champion. Look at that smile. We will move on to the men's singles awards presentation. So it wasn't long ago that you saw these two battling and battling hard they did. Ma Long in front and Fang Zhendong behind giving some explosive rallies, testing the speed, the strength, and creativity of one another, the resilience and agility of one another. Many different words could be used to describe what we saw in this intense battle of the finals. Despite a very rough start, it ended up being much closer than it looked like it might end up Mr. Kalaf Al Mohanadi. I'm sorry. So here it's Khalil, Mr. Khalil Al Mohanadi, ITTF Deputy President, giving his award to Fang Zhendong from China, world ranked number two. But the champion, once again, Ma Long, the most powerful player on earth is on top of the podium, continuing to collect points and taking titles. Look at the cheeks and the smile on Ma Long as he gets presented by Mr. Khalil Al-Mohanadi, the ITTF Deputy President. I believe he's also running for the election this year, coming up a little bit later this year. $25,000 to go with the gold boat of Ma Long. A quick high five. But for Fang Zhendong, it's going to be a bittersweet tournament. Played quite well, but until he's standing on top of that podium, he'll, he will not be satisfied. He knows he's capable of it, but the pressure changes when it becomes a world tour event. In Chinese Super League, he seems quite comfortable. But with every blink of those eyes, you have to imagine there is analysis of the match that just happened. Thomas Weikart looking sharp in that pink tie out there. And Ma Long, covered in gold, is starting the year quite strong. Two years in a row as the ITTF table tennis male star. Can he pick up a third? Will he do it? The fans decide, but the performances of Ma Long also continue to decide what the fans vote. So as the event comes to an end, it has been an exciting top-notch event to start off the 2017 Seamaster World Tour Platinum Series. What an event it has been. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Don't forget to keep up with the World Tour. Subscribe to the ITTF YouTube channel, official ITTF YouTube channel, ITTF Facebook page, Instagram, Weibo, and of course, ITTF.com for all the matches you want to watch. Check out the highlights. Check out the replays and revisit all your favorite matches. All your news can be there from written articles to all sorts of other excitement. And we look forward to seeing you at the next event on the World Tour. Don't forget, Pong responsibly, drive safely.
and see you soon.